Here's how much I make when I get a million views. August 2020 to July 2022, 1 million views. That's how much I made. Today's life lesson, missed opportunities. I'm the OG when it comes to playing video games in your van using solar. January 31st, 2013. When I looked up the topic, there's only a few people who talked about this. And the top guy has 3 million views, 200,000 subscribers. He made his video about this topic like two years ago. And it's funny, 200,000 subscribers... One of his videos got 3 million views. You saw what a million views makes. And he's still asking for donations. He wants you guys to help him live his dream of playing video games all day long in a van. Man, I, when I see that stuff, man, I'm like, man, people have a lot of nerve. I'm always telling you guys, I feel very blessed that I get to make anything on this channel. Anything on my YouTube channel. I made my channel with the intentions of uh, sharing my hobbies, sharing my passions. Um, my, my channel is mainly about my vehicles, and in real life, no one wants to hear me talk about my cars. You know, my real life friends never wanted to hear me talk about my cars, so I just started a YouTube channel about it. And my first year, I had three viewers and three comments all the time. And to me, it didn't matter that I only had three comments and three viewers. It mattered to me that I got to let it out of my system, man, and talk about my hobbies. And if one person cares about what I think, that's all that mattered to me. Then eventually my channel grew. I'm one of the first channels here on YouTube to really talk about vans. And my channel was rolling a couple years ago. Well, not a couple years ago. More like nine years ago. It was really rolling because of all my van content. I mean, 9,000 views. I don't get 9,000 views when I drop videos anymore. Even though I have 8,000 subscribers, I don't get 9,000 views. And what happened was, there was a three-year gap where I didn't make any van content. So I think a lot of people jump ship from my channel or maybe they close their accounts. And then three years later, I started posting Abarth videos. Very opposite of a van. Abarth is a tiny little economy sports car. So when people saw that, they're like, I was here for the van stuff. I'm out of here. I got another van build. Oh, the reason I stopped making van videos to begin with is because uh, my first van build started falling apart and it was no longer drivable. So three years later, I started uploading videos about a totally different car. And that's when people, I, I always study my analytics. And that's when I started noticing unsubscribes when I started posting videos of my Abarth, so I always uh, joke around when I show my Abarth, this is the car that made me lose most of my subscribers, but you know what, man, I don't ask for donations, so I don't feel obligated to make certain content, I do content that I want, I feel like when you ask for donations, you're under the mercy of your subscribers, and I, I think it's lazy too, man, I, I just have pride in working for what you have, I'm old school mentality. So that was a missed opportunity for me, man. I, I had no idea that I should have been making video game or um, videos about gaming in your van. So I uploaded a video about my gaming stuff in my van the other day. And that's why I looked up the topic. Does anyone talk about video games in a van? And that's when I discovered, oh, man, one of these guys has like 3 million views on one of his gaming in a van videos. So I wanted to talk about this. I'm like, missed opportunity. So... I've been telling myself lately, I have a manual labor job and I always joke with my friend and say I'm a dummy. We're both dummies, but it's a good thing we could pick up heavy stuff. Could you imagine if we're dummies and we can't pick up heavy stuff, we would be pretty useless. So I've been thinking to myself lately, like maybe it's time for me to start using my brain. So I said, I'm going to study my YouTube analytics even more and make one video a day and see what that does for my income so i only miss july 2nd right here because i was uh, on a road trip but other than that i've been uploading every day consistently i might not be able to pull it off because i have a lot of work you know coming up i enjoy making videos a lot but at the end of the day if i have overtime assignments at my job i gotta make i gotta go to my job and you know work overtime because i'll make more money you know a, a mil a million views is good but, you know, I don't pull off a million views all the time. So 
you know, going to my real job makes more money. So at the end of the day, I have to make more money at my real job. But I am trying my best to make my YouTube channel grow because I look back and it's like, man, I was rolling like years ago when I had like a thousand subscriber, subscribers versus the 8,000 I have now. I'm not getting the same views as I used to, but it's a lot of my old videos that get the views. So a video I'm working on now in attempts to upload one video a day for the rest of the month is I'm going to talk about my gaming stuff more. My last video talking about video games in a van, a couple of you guys stopped by in the comments, talked about some of the games you like. So some of the games you guys mentioned, I have. So that'll be a fun video, talk about, you know, why I have video games in my van, you know, elaborate on that more. One of you brought up Sega Dreamcast. I have a Sega Dreamcast and I have Shenmue. I think every Sega Dreamcast gamer needs Shenmue. And you know what? You know what the thing about this game is? In this game, you get a job. And that's what a lot of these YouTubers need. If you if you need to ask people for donations to live your dream, you know, you're not you're obviously not making enough money to support your dream, so Maybe you need to work a little harder to support your dream and get a job like Ryo Hazuki.